There is one prompt to rule them all, and it's time for me to teach it to you. There are a lot of courses and collections of dozens, thousands, and even millions of prompts. They are all a massive waste of your time. You only need to learn my master prompt and one variant, and then you're off to the races. This video is here to teach you everything you need to know to absolutely master ChatGPT in less than 10 minutes. Let's get right into it and fire up that music. There's a lot of science behind why this prompt works, and I want to give it to you in the easiest way to understand possible. This prompt is very simple. Here is my goal, and then the phrase, what information do you need from me? This is the master prompt. It activates ChatGPT's genius mode by creating two very important states of mind. Number one, you've given ChatGPT or any AI permission to ask you questions. And number two, you've let it know that this is gonna be a multi-part conversation where it's gonna ask questions, you'll answer, and then it can ask more questions. Here's my very first example of the master prompt in action. I wanna figure out my customer avatar, what information do you need from me? When we ask this question to ChatGPT, here's what happens. It immediately starts giving us a list of the information that it needs. You might find this a little bit overwhelming, so there's a way to make this even easier. We're gonna push conversation mode upon ChatGPT by saying, let's have a casual conversation and figure this out together. Can you please ask me one question at a time? Boom. Sure, let's start with basics. Can you tell me the age range and gender of your ideal customer? We're starting to figure things out. Now, the reason this is so powerful is that you don't have to remember the questions or fill out forms. It will ask you information until it gets enough information to give you that ideal customer. This is the power of the master prompt. Let's try another conversation. I wanna write a book about my childhood. What information do you need from me? The very first version of this is giving us an outline for our process, which is gonna be important later on in this video. We always have the ability to turn this into that conversational style. Now, by acting like a ghostwriter, it's a little bit casual and says, can you tell me about time period and location of your childhood? Specifically, what years did your childhood cover and where did you grow up? This is still a little stilted. I'm very aware of that, but we have a much easier way to get to the process when we started off with, I need to write a book about my childhood. Let's see what happens when we tell ChatGPT to be more conversational. Much easier. So we can calibrate how friendly versus how analytical we want it to be as it asks the questions. This version of the question is much friendlier now. It says, to get us started, can you tell me a bit about where you grew up in the time period of your childhood? Where did you call home and what years are we talking about? So I almost want to get rid of the entire first sentence because the second sentence is really where all the action is. While the master prompt is brilliant, it's not always the right answer for the task you need to complete. There's one assumption that it makes that's not always true, and that assumption is that you know the answers to the questions. Sometimes we have a task where we don't know what the task is and we don't know what we need to do. For this, we're gonna use a modification, which is called master chain of thought. In this version of the prompt, we're gonna get ChatGPT or any AI to build an outline. So instead of questions, it's gonna be an outline structure and then to answer all of the questions for us, to do all of the heavy lifting where we're involved as little as possible. Here's the exact structure of the prompt. We are going to determine the customer avatar for a new product. Everything after the sentence is always the same. Without starting the task just yet, think through this carefully and list systematically and in detail all the steps in the middle that need to be completed before we can complete the task in a way that satisfies all of my goals. There are two parts of this prompt that are variables. The very first sentence, which is what is our goal? So we can change the goal, we're going to X. The second part that you can modify is optional, which is satisfies all of my goals. You can change what the goal is and says satisfies my goal of X. So satisfies my goal of selling the most products or selling a high ticket product. So you can get more specific on your goal. For example, if you're writing a blog post, you might say it satisfies my goals of getting the most readers or getting published in a major magazine or getting the most link back. So you might have a more specific goal and you can add that part at the end, but that's completely optional. Let's see what happens when we submit this prompt. Now, for this task, we're gonna have to give it some information because we don't know, because ChatGPT doesn't know about the product or doesn't know who the product is. So in this task, we at least have to tell it what the product is and we'll figure out everything else from here. So we can 
go very simple and let ChatGPT do each task and here's the process. We're simply gonna ask it to complete each task in order without numbering the tasks. We're gonna give it as little information as possible. Please define the goals and objectives for a new type of waterbed that never leaks. Look at all the work ChatGPT is doing and I did almost nothing. We can see this task in action in my previous video where I cover the chain of thought prompt and show the different ways to write a blog post about swimming. And the best result was of course, running through the chain of thought prompt. But let me explain exactly what's happening here. The master prompt is a set of instructions. The way that prompt is designed is that instead of an outline, it gives you questions and ChatGPT asks questions one after another, assuming you have the information. Master chain of thought is the exact same thing except for ChatGPT answers the questions. We can do the same process where we ask the questions back to ChatGPT using the master prompt. The value of master chain of thought is that it lengthens the process into a multi-step process and forces ChatGPT to use multiple tokens or multiple pieces of electricity or multiple thoughts to get to the answer. These two prompts and going through step-by-step step in your process will always get you a better result and in testing, they've taken free AIs and made them as smart as paid AIs. This is a way to accelerate. If you're using a small local model on your computer, if you can't afford the paid version of ChatGPT, this is how you get the same level of intelligence from the free version. This is the absolute game changer, and these two prompts are going to change your life. Please kick the tires, take them for a test, and let me know about your results in the comments right below this video. This is a smaller channel on a mission to hit 2,000 subscribers. That means I personally read and respond to every single comment. If you hit the like button, more people will see this video and it will help this channel to grow. If you hit subscribe, that'll bring me a little closer to 2,000 and you'll see more of my videos in your feed. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notified every single time I post a video. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. It means a lot to me every single time you spend time with me. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're gonna like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're gonna love them.